Howdy there, folks, and Tex of the Black Pants Legion here. So we're back. We have a Night Star against all common sense and reason. Um, yep. Yeah. We're swinging for the fences. Look at all this. Oh, wow, we have a training module. Now people can learn how to play Mech Warrior 2 Mercenaries. Isn't that wonderful? Let's get a med bay in here so we can have more than just, like, duct tape, morphine, and candy cigarettes. <laughs> That is a sick man's laugh. All right, so now that we've got that done, med bay, blah, 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 let's go down and get paid. That is what we do best, get paid sometimes. There's all sorts of things to do down here, and they look like mostly okay, but, oh, oh, uh-huh, uh, our local defense, blah, 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 blakest, blakists, fuck them, here we go. So we're going to go down here with all the firepower we've been granted by the gods of mercy and the gods of chaos and all the other terrible creatures which help us be our best selves. Hope you guys are doing all right. The world is, as always, a complex animal made of lies, deceit, pain, and failure. But keep in mind that these things kind of define us as people. I really do pity those in this world who go through things and never have setbacks. People who never have setbacks, people who uh, never have challenges, people who never have pain and suffering are curious creatures to me. I've met many people in this world who seemingly never had anything go wrong. They had really good family. They had really good jobs at just the right times. They made the right introductions. They shook the right hands. They were fortunate in every which way. And it is easy to look over at other people. And I was recently reminded that comparison is the thief of joy, which that is true. However, I'm going to say this. Much like how Midway in a Traveler game, you have to turn and burn. Just like how Midway in a Dropship Drop, you have to turn and burn. At midlife, you'll find a lot of challenges show up. Whether it's your own health or, you know, your own limited means or... Whether it's uh, a sudden change in fortune. Whether it's a divorce or two. A midlife crisis. That existential pause where you scream at the heavens and ask yourself, what does it all mean? The people who've never been through the shit have no idea what to do. They implode. They buy things they can't afford or continue to do so. They write checks their ass can't catch, and, uh, yeah, that's where things start to turn. The toughest people are those who've been through the shit. Steel is forged in fire, not ice. So keep that in mind, folks. If you're going through some bad shit, you're getting prepared for harder days, and your wisdom is going to be the thing that carries you forward. Wisdom comes from pain and suffering. Those are the only lessons that we can seem to remember. At any rate, I'm going to go look at this giant strip mining operation that's just using a big old laser drill to punch a hole in the earth and, I don't know, mine maple syrup or old tires or something. Looks like something I'd build in RimWorld. <sighs> Boy. All right, what do we got? Your turn. Yeah, I know it is. Fighting Blakists. At least we have some heavy mechs now and one assault mech. If I had to choose an assault mech to have, my first would not be that one, but you know, there's that whole thing of uh, wish in one hand and shit in the other and see which fills up first, which is don't, don't, don't expect free gifts to be uh, exactly what you like, and that's fine. If someone gives you a taco, don't complain about the quality of it. Just say thank you and be thankful that you have one. 
Remember those of, there's a lot of people out there who, you know, always hold out for that perfect moment. And I will say this, as a bitter man, frequently, there are no such thing as perfect moments. There is frequently, though, good enough. Good enough is fine. What do we got? No. No, maybe. All right, I got to get these hunchies on some flat land, get them charging in. Got to hit them like one of them Barnsley football club people. Got to hit them like Chippy. Got to charge in. Chippy's really good people, by the way. He's not just a shit poster. He's a good pal of mine. Super duper friendly. Gives a shit. Kind soul. He'd probably agree with my testament that, you know, life is frequently a struggle. And that's fine. That's important to remember. But Chippy will always make you laugh. I'd be like, oh, fuck that. Okay, what are they going to bring? Come on. I brought way too much firepower. Or did I bring enough firepower? Oh, oh, oh. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What are they bringing? I mean, that, that felt like a big LBX autocannon. That bass drum boom. Ah, uh ha. -huh. Some further back with a large laser, I think, by the sound. What do we got? Okay. We'll bring it. A locust, eh? Well, you are the first, thus artillery shall sing you to your sleep. Seems like they're moving stuff in the backfield. Probably they don't want to come down this frontage road here along the mine head, which is where I will kill them with a hammer. That's what I do. It's time for hammer birthday, boys and girls. All right. Do -do 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 -do. And high locust. 3% chance, eh? Good enough. Remember, artillery is frequently a reminder to the enemy that you have artillery. If it's not shooting, you're wasting it. Arrow four. <laughs> that guy's like, uh, why? Oh, you want to censor? Oh, you're going to lock me up? Well, then, allow me to retort. Good day, sir. Oh, yes, that's the good juice. Time to crush them. All right, what's he going to do? He's getting a lot of evasion. This is also where artillery is great, because artillery is just an <laughs> area of effect. I was watching somebody discuss uh, their love of Arma, and Arma is not for me. Um, I find it to be about as realistic as a bologna sandwich is to Thanksgiving dinner. But uh, that's just because I work in the military industrial complex and have entirely too much data on hand to suggest how things really work. Artillery is one of those things that if you made realistic in a video game, um, no one would want to play infantry because you'd be looking at splash zones and lethal shell penetration zones and overpressure zones that are just so big that people would shit themselves every time artillery flew over. It'd just be like, and dead, and dead, and dead. It would, it would be bad times. Artillery is fairly indiscriminate, and it removes things in a very wide area. And it can be very inaccurate. Oh, and the locust is gone. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. Artillery isn't just, quote-unquote, inaccurate. Artillery is accurate within a CEP, circular error probable. It's a long oval. And it goes on the ground. And this is the more or less saturation area in which most artillery will probably land based on a wide variety of factors present. But artillery will splash in a big ovoid, you know. And the thing about these large ovoids is that within that ovoid, most things will die. Uh, artillery is pretty good at that. That's why you need to have cover. You need to have things to prevent you from getting 
smashed by the overpressure or cut to pieces by splinters or airburst. There's all sorts of things that can happen that make living above ground and running around very, very unpleasant. Now, Arma is fine if modded, but I would never call it realistic. I had one person try to tell me uh, how much they knew about the G3, which is kind of amusing to me, um, because I've built a number of HK platform rifles uh, from flats and even cutting flats. So I was like, okay, tell me, because I always, I always love being able to hear a lecture from somebody who was educated by Call of Duty. And this person was trying to tell me uh, all about the G3, you know, and all the things they knew about it. And it was, it was basically like a Wikipedia or a Forgotten Weapons sort of dump, like someone had watched a video or two or read an Reddit article. And was using that as the basis of their primary information, which for someone who knows nothing about guns is fine. That's more than fine. That's, that's a primer. That is basic, basic information. And that's okay. That's okay. It's not, it's not a sin to not know at all. It is not a sin. I'm not trying to gatekeep knowledge here. What I'm saying is reading the outside of the math textbook is not as effective as practicing mathematics. And so this person was trying to ask me, or rather I should say portray a sense of knowledge uh, regarding HK platforms. And so I asked, you know, a very innocent question. Uh, what is battle zero on a G3 rifle? Which, if you've handled one, you would know. And it is, I believe, this is me without consulting the manual. This is off the top of my head here. I believe it is 32 and 200 meters is battle zero. Those are both of the ends of that funny curve where the bullet rises and then falls. You know, I mean, my chaparral is getting killed. And so when you set zero in that, those are the two points at which that line will intersect. And uh, they said, no, battle zero is zero meters. And I said, uh, okay. And I just smiled politely. I then asked them what the diopter settings in, uh, on an HK platform meant. And what's funny is most people think that that zero setting with a V-notch sight and then the one setting with a peep are two different ranges. They're not. Uh, one's night sights and one is normal sights. They are the same range. HK is like that. <laughs> but there's a lot of gun knowledge out there that, I don't know, um, there's someone who has gunsmithed before. By the way, it looks like my 4P is stuck back here, which sucks. Yeah. Why, why is he? Oh, I see. He should be able to shimmy through that and around there, but it looks like he can. So jump jets, boys and girls, don't overlook them. I have no sin against somebody wanting to learn more about anything, whether it be sewing machines, which is where, uh, you know, sewing machine is where HK actually got their start. Heckler & Koch started as a company making sewing machines in the post-war world. But, hold on, artillery. Oh, oh, oh. But if you're going to learn something, I would recommend hands-on knowledge, and if not, I would recommend, if you'd like, for example, if you live in a country where sewing machines are banned, go read a lot of books. Not just one. Read lots of books. Lots and lots and lots and lots of books. Books are great. Books are how the wisdom of the past reaches the present, slowly, one step at a time, through generations of passing things forward and experimentation. There's a lot of good books written out there uh, by gunsmiths. Uh, you, can, you can also read lots and lots of good books written by people who have actually been to war with things. Just do a little bit of research. Stay away from Reddit and Wikipedia's primary sources. Remember, YouTube is not a primary source either. It's one of the things I pointed out in the Christmas Bullet video is I said, you know, we cited over 800 sources we couldn't just say, trust us, bro. And if you go look on Wikipedia, you won't find more information. You'll find significantly less information than what we presented, which had one of my Patreons asking, well, where did you find this information? I said, libraries, where they keep the books. There you go, blam. And I'm not saying that to be a smartass or snarky. 
I'm saying that because I want you to go embrace your library. I want you to get out there and read. I want you to read some fucking books. If you're a parent, one of the first things you should teach your child once they have the capability is how to get a library card and how to use it. How to request books through the library loan system. Tell them that just because a book is not on a shelf doesn't mean you can't have it. You can request an interlibrary loan. Show them how to do that. And if you don't know, ask the reference librarian. Stand by. I'm going to gauss rifle a spider. Is this cruelty? Yes. Am I going to do it? Yup. Ooh. Ooh. Miss. Blab. All right. Got a tag on him. That doesn't mean much uh, because I have no LRM. <laughs> Actually, wait. Arrow 4. I should be all right. But if you want to learn things, don't take my word for it. Teach your kids how to use the library and how to get a library card. A library card is a very effective tool, and it will help you your whole life. Many people will go, but I have the internet now. And I go, unsighted sources. With the trust me, bro are not valid in an academic sense and should not be the basis of any opinion you form. Just because something is upvoted doesn't mean it's right. You don't want to find a doctor who says, well, on TikTok, I'm the highest rated medical professional. You want a doctor who's been to med school. Yeah, it looks like my hunchback here can more or less run around in circles. There we go. Time to start shelling people. So we've got two mechs in the background that are playing do -si do They're doing castling back and forth, and that, that happens. I'm going to then move my ballista up, and I'm going to shoot him because he's standing on the tall ground up there. And, uh, oh no, yeah, close enough. That's the thing that's majestic about artillery. Artillery is close enough. I go... Hey, what's going on? And they go, I don't know. And I go, close enough. And they go, what? And then you just sink one on them. Now, these two guys over here are staying just outside sensor range, so I can't get a refined target, which is fine. Um, I don't care. My chaparral is a bit fucked up, so I'm going to move him a little bit back just so I can save on repairs. And the other chaparral, I'm going to uh, guesstimate. We're going to do some guesstimation here. Uh-huh. Ooh, look at that. Nice splash. I don't know. I think I got some through. A Hussar. Wow, that is not a good mech. It's not good looking, and no one likes it. I've seen one, I think. Maybe. All right. AC-20. Hi, how's it going? I'm here to introduce you to our Lord and Savior. Uh, the Hunchback Orthodoxy. However, this one's in a swayback platform, so... Cancer. Ooh, right leg destroyed. The Hunchback has spoken. That bass drum has beat, and welcome to the floor. Oh, he's like, going down. <laughs> That's what you get. You're in a Hussar, you've got tiny little T-Rex arms. You're not going to be able to get up. Orion, good day. How many missiles would you like? Trick question, here comes 70. Now, the MRM Orion is not the smartest Orion build, but I've actually used that in tabletop. I think it's a fine Orion. Some people don't like it. I've also done the MRM Mauler. Um, some people don't like that one. Some people don't like their heavier mechs to be brawlers. They want a little bit more standoff range and various this and that, but... Some of you might have realized that Mr. Tex uh, designs a lot of his mechs more or less like overgrown hunchbacks, and you're not wrong. That is the magical art of uh, Battletech, is you can make whatever you want. Sure, there will be a handful of weirdos that always make things the most optimally balanced cancerous mix of the best sensors, the best weapons, the best everything, and... Sure, you can do that. Um, you can min-max your way to success in any game. Ooh, a Rifleman 3 in. All right. 
you're going to die next because you don't have a lot of armor. But, well, I should have just left it at that. You don't have a lot of armor. Oh. Oh. Well, he's going to cook himself. Fuck you, buddy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, he's coming over the rise. Please pop into range. I'd love to meet you with artillery. Now, there is an unknown vehicle back there. I'm hoping it's not fast. I actually hope it's heavy support and not fast. Alright, Rifleman's sitting still, which means I can be an asshole. Oh, see? A lot of that armor just left. Sitting there, acting all fancy. Artillery? All you have to do to make a rifleman hurt is hit it once or twice. Just once or twice very hard in any, either of the torsos, and they typically don't do well. However, if they have terrain to their advantage, you will not do well, because they typically carry a lot of clap, and uh, by that I mean a lot of hit back, not chlamydia. They could, I mean, just, you know, be safe as mech warriors. YOLO doesn't have to be a lifestyle forever. All right, so his structure is exposed. Um, this hunchback is going to continue to walk around back and forth and think about his life. Probably. Ah, yes, the hunchback has shown up. Will you retire another mech today? Oh, yeah, that rifleman's not doing so great. He's panicked because the hunchback knows where he is. The Orion will finish the uh, math problem here. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Look. Oh, 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 oh. That's some fall down. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. But when it comes down to mechs, there are people who always min max and they will say, This is my inner sphere mech with all this clanner equipment and, you know, the best C3 and blah, 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 blah. And that's fine. What you need to do is then make them accurately count out their battle value using the correct rules and then bring an equal value in fast movers, tanks, and light mechs and beat the shit out of them. It's okay for your mech commander to have, you know, something customed out and crazy, but if someone's got that whole custom force, beat the shit out of them for it. Unless they're like a Solaris group, then they should have all custom stuff, and it should be really elite pilots, but only four dudes. It should be like Dutch's Dozen, you know, just a bunch of wacky, super talented people using all sorts of crazy custom shit. Okay, let's see, one, two, three, four mechs, plus, no, two vehicles. All right, let's do it. Sending that hunchback up. I ain't afraid of no ghost. I'm going to shell the shit out of this wasp for daring to show up, and then I think this vehicle is coming up to this promontory point to start shooting down. Which is unacceptable to me. Oh, what do you got? Oh, a chameleon. Uh-huh. You shot my Night Star. You need more practice. Yes, you do. Commander. Then again, that I, that's true of everyone. You can't just say that about one person. We all need more practice. I've not yet met anyone who couldn't benefit from practice. Ooh. Dragon 66. Moving up with a chaparral and introducing these people to why missiles are cool. All right, let's see. He's like, I'm running. You are going to die tired. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Moving up, moving up, moving up, moving up. All right. Now we have a direct shot on the guy. And then, yeah, indirect is more accurate in this case. Swing it. I'm going to chip away at their armor as they run down the, uh, as they run down, because that's what you do. Oh, a little more accurate for up there. I'm hoping to splash that vehicle as well. 
Ooh, that's a good hit. That is a good hit. Move the Orion up. Let's keep swinging. Keep that violence of action going. Daisy chain your boys into range and hurt everyone who dares to show up. Precise strike. Let's do it. Let's see where the missiles land. Are those racing stripes? Yeah. Blap, 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 blap. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Have some, have some, ooh. He's unsettled. Why does that Orion have so many missiles? Because I found them, that's why. All right, let's take him off the hill. Ooh, ooh, right torso destroyed, right arm destroyed. Yeah, he's been disarmed, and now he's gonna fall down. He's got a crit on the core, down to the ground. Oh man. All right, so we have another mech back here. We have two vehicles back here, and we have two more mechs back here. It's time to kill them all with a hammer. A jackrabbit? I haven't seen one of you in a while. Wow. Oh. Oh. Well, I'll be. You used your sad missiles, and they were shot down by the AMS. Because of course I have that. You gotta protect your Bentley. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to smash the remaining... I don't see what their other vehicles are, and they don't seem to be terribly fast-moving. So I don't know. But I'm going to artillery this whole area because there's three assholes up here, and that's what you do for uh, artillery. You just start dropping bombs on people. That whole warheads on foreheads. But typically, it's rarely that accurate, unless you're talking like Excalibur or something. Oh, got me with Narc. A Zephyr, huh? Okay. And this hunchback is going to move <laughs> over here now. The 4P is just like an excited kid running back and forth. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Are you ready? Are you ready, kids? Alright. Chameleon goes away. And you missed. Tragic. No, you didn't. You scared him. All right, so we got three guys up here, two back here, and one here. This is going to be an interesting engagement. Artillery is moving up to shoot and scoot, which is what you do with artillery. We're going to hit that jackrabbit. Streak SRM 2. Yeah, no. Ballista, move on up. Move on up. Let's hit him again. Artillery. All right, splashed behind the wasp, which is fine. I'm just going to make sure that wasp doesn't get uh, close to my lines. I don't want anybody running behind me doing kung fu. Oh, yeah, he won't be doing kung fu except in hell. Well, yeah, that guy was a mech, and now he's a memory. All right, moving on up. Let's see. Choices, 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 choices. Cho this one. The Miskel. The Miskel knows where it is. Ooh, right. Okay, a little bit of splash there. Generalissimo, let's get up here. Ah, we have two victims. You know what, Zephyr? I don't like you. Because you've got a narc launcher, and no one likes a narc. Oh, oh no. What do we have? What do we have? That is a lot of hit. We just got hit a lot. What in the cinema? Oh boy. It's, is it an OG demolisher? It looks like an OG demolisher. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get up under it and see what we can do about punching through. I gotta make sure some of these guys don't have a very Merry Christmas. And here we go. Yeah, Gauss Rifle. All right, so that demolisher does worry me. Every time I see a demolisher, I go, shit. That's typically why I get antsy in the pantsy. Demolishers are not fun to fight. Demolishers are almost always worth the points. 
unless you get caught out in the open, then then they don't do so great. But you brought an Irby. You brought an Irby. Can I have another one? Can I add to my collection? <gasps> another Irby. Oh, now I feel bad. Oh man, that uh, Nightstar is going to fall over. Sleepy time. Yeah, they might actually do some damage to it, which means I might make a Franken Nightstar. One of my favorite Nightstar builds is to build basically an oversized Uziel with it. Um, some people are going to go, why? That sounds like a waste of a Nightstar. And I go, right, but put yourself in the mindset of being a periphery pilot who found one that had just been barely stripped, like just the frame, and you have to get it back together working. So you do stuff like heavy Gauss or heavy PPC if you can find it. You can build it into a lot of fun things, and that's that's what you do. You have to role play a little bit. It's more fun to role play, R-O-L-E play, than it is to role play, R-O-L-L -L play. Don't power game if you can tell a story. You know, why is this mech this way? Don't say, because it's the bastard bar. That's boring. Tell a story. Say, oh, it started off as this, but then in this campaign, you know, we couldn't find auto cannons, but, you know, our client had a lot of large missile, or, you know, large lasers, for example, and you make it work. Every scar tells a story. Scars tell stories far better, far better than metals do. Are you ready, Kins? Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, this hunchback is coming on up. Coming on up, coming on up, coming on up. What do we got? Urban Mac? Uh-huh. Yep. We got that. All right. Jackrabbit and Zephyr. You know what? Let's, let's, we got two rounds in this AC-20 left. I know that's way too little ammo. Ooh, yes. But it's enough for today. That hit something good. Yeah, it did. Let's bring that Orion up and just start swinging peen on people. Alright, Jackrabbit, Demolisher. Let's try to take the Demolisher off the field. Twin AC-20 is a lot of problems. Remember, always introduce your friends to ammunition explosions. If you can. Man, they are really beating the shit out of my Nightstar. Just because he'd had himself a, a combat nap. Alright, he's getting up. I love how it gets up. It just does a slow sit-up. I'm going to get under some cover here. And then I'm going to shoot this guy in the balls. On wow, you missed with two Gauss rifles. Alright. He's going to die next turn. Probably that other... Uh, probably the Zephyr. The Demolisher, maybe. Because if he keeps rotating his facings, he'll be fine. He'll He'll just be absolutely fine. Oh shit, left arm destroyed, Gauss rifle destroyed. Damn it. The Irbies have spoken. They are showing that they are not to be ignored. I know a lot of people are split on the Irby. Some people love it, some people hate it. Some people think it's just a meme. But it is a legend of its own making. It is one of those things that by just existing has told its own story, regardless of whether or not you want to participate. Like the Volkswagen Beetle, some people hate that fucking thing. Some people have fond memories of it. Some people like the idea of it. But it exists regardless. A lot of things in history are like that. They're divisive. They're strange. But they exist. Alright, let's see. Let's try to kill that Zephyr. Wow. Not a good job. You need to run around this. Ooh, not that way. You're going to have to run around the long way and clobber him. Yeah, you are out of AC-20. All right, Ballista. Ballista, 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 Ballista. You know what? Let's hit that Demolisher. If we can. All right, the mech in the back blew up. Excellent. And the Zephyr in the front blew up. That's a twofer. That is a twofer. All right, let's continue our shelling without loss of enthusiasm. The uh, artillery is king of the battlefield, and it cannot swim, so that's why there's a navy. Alright, let's finish the demolisher. 
We'll save the Irbies for last. One more hit with a Chaparral ought to do it. Hit him. Alright, he's gonna have to drive through fire if he wants out of that corner. Yes. Alrighty. Time to finish the demolisher though. 20 C 20's gotta go. Yup, there we go. Got him. Fuck you. Alright, Nightstar, walk on in. Missing a Gauss rifle, which is a shame. I'll have to replace it with something else. Not terribly fast, otherwise I'd put two AC-20s on it. I might put two LBX auto cannons on it. That might speak to me. Ooh, ow. Yeah, she's not here. Oh man, they're landing shots. These Irbies aren't taking shit. They're not running. They are unafraid. Oh, they have another vehicle back there. That's not so good. All right, I get two medium lasers, so not great, but enough to annoy them. Attack failed. Yeah, I noticed. Commander? All right. Shall we drop artillery on them? Yes. Firing. Splash my own guys a little bit. wonder what this is in the backfield. Please not an alicorn. And be like, oh yeah, they just have one more vehicle and it's an alicorn. And you're like, oh. Locking on. Ready for order. Moving far. All right, let's swing. Oh, structure exposed. Yep. I am now going to remind you guys that artillery hurts. And there we go. Keep swinging. All right, Generalissimo. Here's where we're going to retire one of the Irbies. Look away. There we go. No, didn't. They are tougher than they seem. Gonna keep moving with that night star. Hit him. Firing on the enemy. Or Arano. Again, you're not working for them. Yeah, the Irbies are playing a game up here. While they bring up that vehicle in the back, it makes me wonder what they got. Yeah, they are focusing on the night star. If he punches out, I'm not going to go rescue him. You bail out of an assault mech versus Irbies, I'm sorry, but you, you're you fired. Quite literally. They're like, I bailed out, are you going to get me? I'm like, no. Alright, I'm going to have you run around to go do Kung Fu if we need it. Standing by. Standing by artillery. Oh, structure exposed. Nice. This is where I whittle them down. Panicked. Yes, 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 yes. A little bit more of that. Arrow 4, because yes. Heat sink destroyed. Not that the Irby's really run hot. Okay, he's had that. He's running. And let's tap him. There we go. Stressed. Okay. Orion's run a little warm. Medium lasers off. MRM's on. Good enough. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him.
Heat sink destroyed. Oh, crippled him. Nice. Alright. Nightstar is all open torso, but... You're the assault mech. You're not allowed to back down. That Irby won't quit. I'd offer that guy a job. I'd offer that guy a job, hands down. Oh man, they destroyed my C3. Oh no. The network that is made of so many other uh, C3 computers. Oh wait, I don't have any other C3 computers. You'll be alright. What's this gonna be? Just gonna drive around in the back and think about what he's done. Alright, we're gonna run. Hunchback's coming up there to play football. Kick the Irby. All right, you come on. No, Chaparral, Chaparral. What do we got? Let's do a precise strike with arrow four, shall we? Missiles hurt so much. There we go. Oh. Welcome to the end of your career. There's a little piece of it rolling down. We'll just wait for that last guy to show himself, or I will guess where he lives. Vis-a-vis -vis artillery. I'll just be like, do you live here? It's like playing a game of Battleship. However, I am out of MRM ammo, which is normal. All right, I'm going to move you up here so you're under cover. Okay, come on. Last vehicle. Yeah, just move back and forth. That's all you can do. Demon, demon, demon. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Charge, charge, charge. Okay, what do we got? Hot damn. And we'll drop one on him. Ooh. Let's get up there. Let's get up there. Alright, let's get up there. I, I want to see what it is before I blow it up. Color me curious. There we go. Got it. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Just hanging out in the back. Not doing a lot. Of course, we got the one uh, hunchback that's just stuck and can't do anything. Uh-huh. I guess I have to start guessing where they are. I'm going to have that hunchback kick some people. Yeah, I will always remember the stupid kick attempted. We were doing uh, the Battle of Tukian and tried to punt Goat's uh, ejected pilot off the, you know, face of Tukian, as a good Comstar guy would do. And uh, I succeeded and failed at the same time. Failed my piloting role, which means uh, the awesome fell over. On to Goat's character. So, you know, that's how it works. Squish. Yes. Alright, let's get that Orion up there. I need to probably have two MRM 30s, more ammunition. As soon as I can find more MRM ammunition, that will be my to do list. I'm gonna keep the Night Star in cover because it is expensive to fix. Not a lot of parts left for it. All right, let's move over here. Oh, look, you moved to the other side of the little valley in which you are stuck. I'm here. All right, let's get into range and find out what in the cinnamon toast fuck is hiding back here, shall we? Standing by. Let's hit him. Mm hmm. Order. Ballista. Let's roll. 
Let's hurt him. Oh boy. See, if you don't want to come out of cover, I will just roll up and hit you with artillery. That's where artillery actually does its best in battle tech, is if someone's staying out of range or playing, uh, you know, footsie with you, you can just start blasting things. So they're like, I'm going to hide in the woods. Well, scatter mines around the woods, set the woods on fire, make the woods very spooky, make the woods unfriendly, make the woods not nice, hurt them, make them regret going to ground, make them regret sitting still. Make them regret not taking artillery. You don't have to take a lot of artillery. Just some. And it doesn't have to be even the heaviest stuff. You don't have to take long toms. A thumper or two will pay for itself. Mortars work. If you doubt me, ask your friend who was in the infantry. Mortars are very effective. As are infantry in Battletech. You're just going to need to take enough of them. Because, you know, mechs can crunch infantry real good. Oh, wow. That was an interesting arc. I'm just going to wait until this guy comes out of his little cover here. I don't know what he's got, but it'd be hilarious if it was an SRM carrier. Came around the corner and just blew me off the field. Doing a lot of damage. Uh, doesn't seem like I'm going to crack him just yet. The artillery is just shooting at uh, sensor ghosts, probably, but that doesn't stop them. Saturate until all clear, right? All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Yes. Yes. He sounds very tired, which is appropriate. Yes. I'm going to keep you in cover. What is it? Wow, coming out to swing. What do we got? A drill sun. I see why you hid. You should have just turned it off and walked into the desert. All right. And we're going to charge. Oh, yeah. Charge in. There you go. Structure exposed. One more good stomp ought to do it. You know what? I'm going to hold my artillery, and I'm going to let the uh, hunchback pilot work out some aggression. Uh-huh. Let's keep moving. Oh, yeah. Doing some of that, huh? Trying to look all special. That could have been worse. No, I don't think so. Order. Not with a drill, son. Typically, it's not, it's, not, it's not worse. It's just... Oh, it's there. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do some river dance. Sounds like a victory. Not allowed to see it, but, uh, yeah. Well done. And burn the ashes. Well, let's debrief now that we've ruined this national park. I wonder what I get. I wonder what I get out of this. Oh, man. Let's see. Morale. Spirited. Nightstar. Kind of cracked up, which is what I expected. Oh, my God. I can have that demolisher. Yes, and please. I know many people will say, but Tex, there's a rifleman part. There's only one. There's a lot of Irby parts. There's all sorts of engines as well. Nice. I should have plenty of salvage. I'm going to sell off what I don't need. I'm going to rebuild the Night Star. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. 
and I appreciate you guys for showing up. Until next time, stay safe. Their face covered in a plasma fire. Space cut tearing off your nose. Great tide valid hunters steal all the wires. Librarians reading nasty prose. Cargo's quiet just as people know. Because it's pizza party night. Cargo techs help the crates all aglow. They're gearing up for a fight. They know that Checkers is on his way. He's loaded guns and meth pills for the prey. And every great tight shit has gone a spy. To see if there's good shit that they can buy And so I'll tear apart this fucking clown For Grognaut and to Titus too Although it's been done many times, many ways Hail Cargonia, fuck you